Today on our food adventure, we're celebrating an Easter extravaganza. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed and today we're going to learn how to make personalized marzipan Easter eggs. Traditional marzipan originated in Turkey and is famous in many European countries. It was originally made using ground almonds or almond meal, which was mixed together with icing sugar and some egg white. It was cooked to a delicious clay-like consistency, which is really easy to mold for many different types of candies. You can also roll out marzipan and cover cakes. In Goa though, since cashew nuts were widely available, that was used instead of almonds. Now, I always use cashew nuts in my marzipan as I find that it's a much more delicious alternative. In this recipe, you can substitute the cashew nuts for almonds. Because today is an Easter extravaganza, I'm going to be joined by my YouTube friends from all over the world who are going to show us some special recipes which I'm going to add at the end of this video. First up, I've got Jimmy Chill from Israel and he owns Pesca Foodie and he's going to show us how to make spicy chocolate Easter eggs. Next up, all the way from California, we have Cassandra who runs Love Bites and she's going to be making mini carrot cake cupcakes. Next, we have my homies from Toronto. We've got Feeling Peckish that's gonna show us some mini egg eclairs, as well as Panko Bunny, who's going to be showing us Peep Wagashi, which are Japanese sweets. And let's not forget the Southern Hemisphere. We've got Sharon all the way from Australia, and she's going to show us her gravity-defying Easter egg. I hope you're as excited as I am to view all of these other recipes. Please do stay tuned till the end of the video and I will post all of the links there. And now let's get cracking. I'm going to show you a super simple way to make marzipan in no time. In the old days, my aunts and grandmothers would slave over a hot stove and they would stir and stir and stir this marzipan for hours till it would form into a ball. But I have no time for that. I've been making my marzipan in the microwave and it works so well that I can't wait to show you how to make that. We're going to start with cashew nuts. I've got 100 grams of cashew nuts. This is about 3.5 ounces. And you can substitute almonds if you like. What I'm going to do is put my cashew nuts in a food processor and I'm just going to pulse it. I'm also going to weigh 200 grams of icing sugar. You always need double the quantity of icing sugar. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that icing sugar into my food processor and I'm gonna pulse it again. Now what this icing sugar does is it absorbs all of the oil from the cashew nuts. And so the cashew nuts grind to a really fine powder. Next I'm gonna add all of these ingredients into my large mixing bowl and I'm going to start to mix it together with one egg white. I'm going to add the egg white in little drips and once it's incorporated I'm also going to add a little bit of almond essence. Be sure to scrape the mixture in between and when it's all incorporated I'm going to take that mixture I'm going to put it onto a microwavable plate and I'm going to cover it with some cling film. Then I'm going to put it in my microwave and I'm only going to zap it for 10 seconds at a time at least three or four times. Once that's done, you know that the egg whites in your mixture is cooked. I'm going to take my marzipan mixture out of the microwave and I'm just going to uncover it. Leave it for a while. You want your marzipan to cool down and dry up. I'm going to take my marzipan mixture and I'm going to put it onto a board and I'm gonna add some food coloring to it. Now you can add any amount of colors you want to your marzipan. If you're only going to color your marzipan with one color, you can even add the food coloring in the food processor. Once I've got my marzipan cooled and ready and colored, I'm simply going to divide it up. I'm going to roll it between my hands, use some additional icing sugar if the marzipan's a little bit sticky, and I'm going to first roll it into a ball and then I'm going to give it an egg shape. Once my marzipan Easter eggs are ready, I'm simply going to decorate them with some royal icing. You can do any kind of decoration you like. I've written the names of my family on my Easter eggs. 
making them very, very personal. You can use Easter candies or any other decorations that you like. I hope you enjoyed this recipe for marzipan Easter eggs. It's really very tasty. Take a bite for yourself and you'll see. Until I see you next time, take care, bye.